Hello and welcome back to JMP Miniatures. This paint tutorial is of a tuned high tyrant, uh, a winged one. The wings are magnetized, as I've shown in a previous video. If you want to know how to magnetize wings? I'll add that video in the description, and there's an easy, easy to follow tutorial on that. So to start off here, I'm using a white primer through an airbrush. If you don't have an airbrush, it's it's absolutely fine. You can use um, an aerosol primer like. Um, a spray can there's plenty of sailor games workshop or army painter there's plenty of companies provide primer in a can so here i'm just carrying on priming the wings and preparing the model for paint next up i'm base coating all the skin areas with vallejo pale flesh and um, this is i'm just doing the airbrush because it's quick but it's just as easy to use a large paintbrush if you haven't got an airbrush. And again, base coating the wings with the same pale flesh from Vallejo. The next step involves washing all the skin areas with Vallejo Skin Wash. Uh, this is watered down to one part wash, one part water. Um, so it's a 50-50 mix of the two. Uh, it makes the wash go a lot further and it, it reduces the intensity which is what we want for this model. And again, I move straight onto the wings and use the same wash on uh, both wings. So now that wash is dry, we're ready to start adding some colour into the skin. So here I've just took a really large old brush, I'm using the same Vallejo Pale Flesh, and now I'm just dry brushing the, the wings and I'll move on to the skin next. Um, a lot of people do know how to dry brush, but if you don't, uh, the idea is behind you, you remove most of the paint from your brush by rubbing it on a tissue, and then you go ahead and just quite roughly rub the brush over the model and it picks up all the higher areas so it's quite a fast easy way to get some nice shading on it doesn't have to be skin it could be anything like armor it doesn't really matter but it's just a simple way easy for beginners and it actually gives quite a nice effect So now that the skin's taken care of, I'm moving to the carapace. Uh, for this I'm using a Citadel paint, a Demonette Hide, and I'm just base coating all the carapace areas, uh, not the claws because they'll be red, but yeah I'm just working on all those areas, giving them a nice base coat. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we're at the claws, um, I'm using another Citadel paint here, Mephist and Red. Uh, this is watered down quite a bit because it's quite a thick paint. And I'm just base coating all the claws, uh, that includes the feet and all the small little ones that you can see kind of protruding out of the ankle area and on the elbow. Now that we've got that base coating out of the way, move on to some washes. So here I'm using Vallejo Black Ink and this is the same as the other ink. Uh, it's been watered down one part water to one part ink. Um, it gives a nice intensity because this is a, quite a thick ink really. Um, and I'm just base coating all the carapace areas, uh, just anything that's purple in this case. And then moving back to the claws, I'm using the skin wash with the same dilution and this is just over all the red areas that were base coated earlier. So moving attention to the wings, uh, I'm just base coating all the, the small claw areas with the same Mephiston red from Citadel uh, just to match the rest of the model. Now that the last wash is dry, move on to some more dry brushing. Uh, this time I'm using Demonet Hide, working on all the carapace areas, anything that's purple. Uh, this is quite a heavy dry brush. Uh, I wanted to pick quite a lot of the details out and give it a nice smooth finish. And then it's time for another dry brush, this time Stonewall Grey from Vallejo. This gives quite a, a pleasant highlight, it's not too strong, it's not like the kind of edge highlights you see nowadays from um, Games Workshop. Just quite a subtle highlight, nothing too crazy. This time I am actually going to do a little bit of edge highlight, not too much, um, using Citadel Mephist and Red. It's on all the claw areas basically, just covering the edge of the claws, any sharp edges that look like they would need to stand out. Now I'm adding some matte varnish from Vallejo, uh, it's through the airbrush but you can get aerosol based ones as well and I'm just adding it to where the wings attach to the main model so when the wings are put, getting pulled off being put on it's not going to damage the paintwork. So there's a look at the finished model, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope it's been helpful and thanks for watching.